What is up everybody? Today we have another windy day in New Jersey and uh, nothing much we could do about that. But we're out on the kayak. We're about to go explore some deep holes um, and look for some winter white perch. So stay tuned. Um, all right, so the weather today is less than ideal. Temperatures in the you know low 40s. Uh, water temperatures about 41. Wind is what is gonna be the tough thing today. Uh, right now we're kind of catching the end of the outgoing tide. It should switch in a little bit. Um, the winds today are just absolutely brutal. I mean, 20 mile per hour plus with you know pretty hefty gusts, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna find a deep hole and we're gonna anchor on it. Now, this time of year is the easiest time of year to locate these fish, in my opinion, because most of these fish move to deep holes uh, during you know the cold spell of winter um, and get stacked up pretty well. The hard part sometimes is getting them to want to eat in cold water. But uh, I think we have a few tricks up our sleeve that'll work today. We do have fresh live grass shrimp uh, that we're gonna put on a sabiki rig. We also have um, a blade bait I want to test out. Super excited to test that out. And I also have some various jigs we might try, but stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna paddle to the first spot and we'll see if uh, we can make it work. All right, so we just dropped the anchor. Wind is absolutely brutal today, um, but we're gonna fight through it. We do have fresh live grass shrimp and we're gonna put them to the test. I also packed some frozen blood worms. Um, Last time we were out, man, the weather conditions were literally as bad as they possibly could get. It was like nor'easter conditions. Um, today, it's not nor'easter winds, but it's 25 mile per hour gusts, uh, steady winds into like the 16, 17. I'm kind of in a pocket right now where, you know, we're keeping some of the wind off of us, but we'll see if the fish will be cooperative today. Uh, I'm going to drop that straight down here I'm I'm anchored up in a little bit of a hole um, curious to see if there's any fish sitting in this hole I have the deeper sonar right now it's saying that the surface temps about 41 but um, I'm gonna check on it a little bit later see if it stays true cuz um, you know it does take a few minutes for it to get acclimated to the water temperature but stay tuned we'll see if anything's biting got her Let's go, got our first fish of the day. Nothing big, feels like a perch. Oh yeah, look at that. Not a bad sized white perch. No skunk today, boys and girls, but it's a beautiful uh, white perch, man. Maybe seven incher, but man, no skunk. Well, that's a great sign, man. Uh, you know, when you put in the time in the winter time and it's cold and you know, you're paddling all over the place to try and, you know, mark fish. And you're not catching fish, it could be a long day. Fortunately, we've only been at this spot for maybe five minutes tops, to, and we had our first fish. Um, the good news is we're already bigger than that, you know, first exploratory perch trip that we took, um, you know, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, we went out for the first time uh, perch fishing on the kayak, and for 2021 and it was literally like fishing in a nursery like they were all this big but it was you know like today where there's a ton of wind and you know I'm a little skeptical of, of going far distances you know in a tidal river with a paddle kayak because you know once that tide switches and it starts ripping in you know it could be pretty tough to maneuver with that you, you add the wind on top of that and it makes it that much harder so uh, we just put out the you know grass shrimp back out i have a blade bait tied up i might give that a shot uh while we kind of wait i'm not one to sit and wait I, you know I, I love fishing and i love you know figuring out what works and what doesn't i know for a fact you know you're going to catch fish with live grass shrimp and with you know blood worms but let's uh let's give the blade bait a shot it's just the bass pro shops quarter ounce you know regular blade bait and all I'm gonna do, drop it over on the left-hand side, drop it all the way down, and then 
kind of jig it off the bottom, see if any big perch down there are hungry. Oh, oh, son. Got something on the blade bait. Damn. Feels decent size. Damn, look at that. That's a nice perch. That's a nice perch on the blade bait. See, that's why you don't just sit around and watch. And I'm getting hits on this rod, too. Man, look at that jumbo, man, on a blade bait. Absolute tank. Second perch of the day is pretty decent size, man. I'd, I'd say this is probably borderline jumbo, but definitely a good eating size. But we're going to let this guy go. Damn, man, I'll tell you what. These blade baits are super fun to fish. Um, I mean, there's no wrong way to work them. Right now, we're just vertically jigging them uh, over a deep hole. Like I said, I really uh, don't use my depth finder or fish finder to actually locate fish. All I'm actually using it for is to mark depths and water temps. If you have both those, you know, key information, you know, you could find where the fish are sitting. Um, we've been here, you know, maybe six minutes at this point and had two fish, one on the grass shrimp, um, one on the blade bait. Nice thing about the blade bait is it's just an easy vertical jig is how we have it set up and you know just nice and easy just wait for them big perch to see it oh whoa oh my god even the small guys that guy hit that on the surface that's nuts that's crazy literally i was Reeling, reeling that one back in. Damn, son. Blade bait, man, is the ticket today. Two fish so far on the blade bait. I actually might reel in the other rod. Just as I say, we're getting blade bait. Oh, fish on. We got fish on the sabiki rig. Nothing big. Another perch. Bottom hook. Beautiful little white perch. I'm gonna let him go. Let them grow, man. So that's two fish right now on the blade bait. Two fish on the uh, sabiki rig. The, the beauty of what we're doing right now is, unless the bite really turns on and turns crazy, you know, we could manage two rods like this. Um, I'm just trying to keep the sabiki rig a little bit away from the kayak. That way, where I'm jigging, the wind's kind of blowing us around. Um, that way it's not getting in the way of our jig um, or vice versa but also by spreading them out on both sides covering a little bit more ground getting the hit on the sabiki rig got him another white perch bottom hook again man crazy Woo. boy and that wind picking up but we're still catching fish man so can't complain just have to suck it up and roll with the punches yeah man i'll tell you what the wind's no joke today and the wind i think just shifted directions too man I, i'm sure you can see the waves behind me but you know we're gonna suck it up man not much you can really do when you only have you know a couple days a week to get out fishing i'll tell you what if i were a betting man though i'd bet I bet every time that, you know, it's going to be windy on a Saturday and Sunday. There's, it's almost like a guarantee at this point. Monday through Friday, like 5 to 10 mile per hour winds. Saturday, Sunday, 20 to 40. It's just how it goes. But I just put the Sabiki rig back out front. Uh, getting a hit. Got him. Got him. Damn, that's a bigger one. Oh, first one on the second from bottom hook, man. Another beautiful white perch, man, on the sabiki rig. You really can't beat it, man. It's simple rig to use, and I think the little bit of flash on the hook, man, gives, gives you that a little bit of an edge. Starting to get another hit on the sabiki rig. Ooh, got him. Got him, baby. It's a little bit of a bigger one. Right in the side jaw. We might have 
have to move though, man, because I'll tell you what, the wind is getting worse. And right now we are just kind of like getting at the will of the wind. So right now, because if I take one of these uh, waves, you know, side two, I'm gonna end up flipping the kayak. So give me a you know a minute or so to get situated here and pull the anchor, and uh, hopefully we'll find another spot. So we just shifted the kayak uh, to a new spot. Similar depth. Um, I haven't really marked any fish, but we're gonna just kind of cast around and see what happens. So hopefully we can find some fish at this spot. We're kind of sitting a little bit better than we were at that previous spot. Um, but who the heck knows what will happen. Just getting a hit on the sabiki rig, man. I'm hoping to finish the day with one more fish, but uh, it's, once that wind shifted, man, and the tide shifted, it's been pretty tough sledding. But we're holding out for one more fish if we can. We don't have much time though, so it's gonna have to be in the next few minutes or, oh, there's a hit right there. Got him, let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Finishing the day. Oh man, finishing the day with a slob, man. Look at that freaking slob of a perch, man. That's that's how you finish a day, boys and girls. That is how you finish a day. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time I have today. The wind's getting worse, and I truly am out of time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, as always, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button, man. Have a great day.